This video is about having your say in Moodle 2 using comments and blogs. Comments is a new feature in Moodle 2. As a teacher you can add a comments block pretty much anywhere now there's far more control over where blocks go. In this example our teacher has added a comments block to the main page of the course to enable his students to give some feedback on the layout and the resources. Our student Emma just types in her opinion then presses submit and her comment appears. You can also add comments to an individual resource or an activity. In this example our teachers put up a PowerPoint and if you look down on the right hand side he's added a comments block with a not particularly complimentary comment from one of his students. If you add a comments block to somewhere where students wouldn't normally be able to access such as a grade book or an assignment marking screen you can comment in private or moderate here, for instance, is an assignment, and if we click on the assignment and then go to the submitted items, this takes us into the grade book that only the teachers can see. And our teacher has added a comments block there so that he and his colleagues can discuss the severity or the leniency of the marking out of the view of the students. So that's moderation for you, if you like. Blogs are much improved in Moodle 2. You can get to your blog from the navigation block my profile blogs where you can see all of your entries and you can add a new general entry but a blog can also be attached to a specific course in this example I'm in the beginners French course and if I click add an entry about this course from the blog menu the post that I'm going to make will be tied to that particular course I add it in the normal way Note again that I can add attachments, I can make it a draft or I can make it public as before and I can add tags but what's interesting is at the bottom associations it has tied this particular blog post to the French course. Of course you can now comment on a blog. If we go in as our student Emma and look at my now published blog entry if she clicks the comments link she gets a box as she did in the comments block that we saw earlier where she just types her feedback and presses submit. It's now possible to import into your Moodle blog posts from outside of Moodle such as WordPress. If you click on my profile settings and then blogs we get three options. Preferences enables you to choose how many blog posts you want to see per page but external blogs and register an external blog are where you go to add the URL, the RSS feed of the blogs that you would like to bring in to your Moodle blog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my own blog, my WordPress blog, and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find the RSS feed for it and then copy and paste it into the screen of the register an external blog in Moodle 2. If I leave the name and description blank, it will bring in the details from my external blog. And now you can see that it's given me the list of the blogs that I have brought into Moodle from outside. And if I then go and click on my profile to view all of my entries, You'll see that alongside the French blog that I did earlier on, I've also got entries that have come in from outside, such as my posterous blog, and a post from my WordPress blog. 